Perfect. Hey babes, good morning, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to the family. There has been so many of you pouring into my channel lately, so thank you for all the love and support. I really appreciate you guys. Today's video was requested specially by this young lady right here. She wanted to know exactly how I lay my edges what my tips and tricks are to make them last all day. So I'm here to show you guys this look right here that inspired this video. <laughs> so let's go ahead and dive right to it. Um, first things first is my hair is already prepped, ready to go. Anytime I do a pony, I always like to make sure my hair is clean. Um, and hydrated so I've already went ahead and done that step these are my natural curls no product no nothing hunty this is me okay <laughs> so this is gonna be simple straightforward right to the point we're gonna go ahead and do a quick little instant pony and then I will go ahead and show you guys how I do my edges also, the ponytail that I'm going to be using today is the Instant Pony by Sensational in the color 2. I've already used this ponytail in my Pigtail Baddies tutorial, so I will go ahead and link that in the description box as well if you want to check that out. So this is the main product that I'm going to be using on my hair, and this is just going to help hydrate it, easy to brush through. It really helps just define the curls and make sure there's no frizz, and this is exactly... There's a little bit of hair in here. <laughs> this is exactly what the texture of that product is. It's like nice and creamy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a generous amount all over my hair. Um, and it might look a little scary because depending on how much you put on, it'll be white at first. But once you start massaging the product into the hair, it'll be totally fine. And one thing I really like about this product is it smells so good. And it's not a hard hold. Now what I'm going to do is take my brush and start to brush my hair into an upwards ponytail. So once I have my hair in this position, I'm going to go ahead and take my other brush. Yes, it's been through a lot. It's missing the handle. <laughs> um, but this, any type of boarhead brush should do. Boar, I'm pretty sure it's a boarhead brush. Um, so I'm just going to take this and what I'm going to do is just kind of go over it again. This is just going to help with flyaways and to just keep that nice sleek shape and to also not have any type of gaps or anything with my hair and as you can see I'm cut my edges right here my temples have kind of been through some stress so um it probably looks like I'm pulling tight but I'm not it's just like extra smooth so if you have thinning edges or anything like that you can always apply some eyeshadow or something to your hair now this is what the ponytail is looking like with um, by itself, like, <laughs> just doing its thing. This is my natural hair, this is the natural high pony looks like on me. Um, but like I said, I'm going to be using the Sensational, uh, just because I want to recreate that entire look. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is just brush out my pony, have all of my curls kind of uniform. It's going to make it easier for when I wrap this up. I'm going to go ahead and start twisting just like this and just bring it around in a circle and what you can do is secure that with a, a rubber band so I will be right back so I can stop it. make sure this stays <laughs> all right now I went ahead and secured my hair with a little rubber band just like that now I'm taking this Fantasia spritz spray bring that all over the base of my hair and I'm going to take that same brush and just lay down any other flyaways that came up and now what I'm going to go ahead and do is put the pony in again this is what 
the hair looks like. It has a nice little French wave to it. Perfect to kind of like just amplify any type of look. And like I mentioned before, I already covered this ponytail in a previous video. I went into a lot of detail to show you guys exactly like how it's constructed, everything like that. So if you want more information, um, I'll go ahead and leave a link into somewhere right there. <laughs> for you guys to be able to find it. But anyways, what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now is just take part of the ponytail. Um, it's kind of been through a lot. I've worn it a couple times now. It's getting to the point where I'm gonna straighten them and kind of revamp how the curl pattern is. So if you guys want a video on that, totally just let me know. But what I'm gonna do right now is just take a flat piece of this hair and we're gonna start wrapping it around the base just to make it look Nice and clean, uniformed. And you also want to spread the hair out just a bit as well. And then typically, once I get it secure, it's fine without a bobby pin. But if you're going out and you're going to be out for a while, definitely secure it with a bobby pin because you don't want this slipping. <laughs> okay, so now we're basically almost done. We have our snatched ponytail slayed to the gods. And I'm now going to show you guys exactly how I go. I am so sorry if you guys can hear like the landscapers doing their thing, but hey, <laughs> it's life. That is so loud. It sounds like they're right by my window. I am so sorry if you guys can hear that. I will try to remove that. <laughs> but now it is time for me to show you guys exactly how I go ahead and snatch my edges, make them extra AF, and have them last all day long. So this is what I have been using. It has quickly become one of my holy grails for edge control. Now I was using the Murray's Edge Wax. Um, I feel like a lot of girls use this, but my issue with this is I live in Arizona and if y'all for some reason don't know about Arizona's climate, it is too damn hot. So this was no good for me. Um, I tried to give it my all, but I ended up typically just using it to do braids. Um, so once I started using this, it changed the game. It changed the game. And the reason for this is because it is water resistant, you guys. But with that being said, at the end of the day, make sure you really take your time to wet them, massage them. Don't be too rough because you want to make sure all the product is out or else it's <laughs> it ain't gonna be good. Now another thing that I used to use for my edges was this edge brush. Some days I still use it, um, but I have come up with something just because one day, this is a true story, I was too lazy to find that edge brush, so I grabbed this, a little spoolie. Typically you can use this to straighten your eyelash extensions or your eyebrows. I have started using this for my edges, so what I like to do is take just a little bit of this got to be glued, just like that, apply it on the brush. The only thing I really use this for now is to just take my edges out, and you are going to be looking pretty crazy when you do this, but hey, ain't no shame, because it's the final result that matters, so... <laughs> Um, this is what I'm gonna go ahead and do. So I have my spoolie right here. This is the amount of product that I have. And this is what I do. I start to apply it. Now these edges, you guys, they, have, they were inspired by my Sweetie video. And they were also inspired by Nisi Nash from Reno 911 because she had some extra AF edges. Then I just start swooping it. I, I'm focusing so hard right now, y'all, so I'm sorry if I'm quiet.
Okay guys, so those are my little tips and tricks to how I do my extra AF ponytail with my extra AF edges. <laughs> now I know this isn't for everybody, so don't come at me saying, ew, those are horrible, those are too much, what are you doing? Because baby girl, quite frankly, I do not care. <laughs> um, I think it is a fun artistic way and it also pays homage to <sighs> some pretty iconic characters in black history. So um, I know it's not Black History Month, baby, but I'm just saying, like, we slayed, okay? <laughs> this has changed my life. Like I mentioned before, I really haven't gone back to using my edge brush, just mainly to, like, take them out. But this has been making it so much easier, especially to do the little S's and the swoops. I don't know. I feel like it's a game changer, for real. Um, but... I do want to mention if you guys do use the got to be glued on your edges, they will stay the entire day, like period. There's no question about it. So at the end of the night, um, if you are going to take your hair down, wash your face, definitely make sure you add like your face wash or soap, something to gently go ahead and remove your got to be glued because I could feel right now and they are lay tunsy they are not moving so um i mean what more what more can i say okay <laughs> what more can i say <laughs> anyways shout out again to tati for requesting this video i really appreciate your love and support girl <laughs> all right i'm about to be out of here so if you guys like this video then don't forget to leave your girl a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one <laughs>